Hi, this is Eric with Motion Guidance, and today's Motion Guidance Moment topic is Joint Position Sense Air at the Head and Neck. For this topic, we go all the way back to 2003 in the Journal of Rehabilitative Medicine by a study published by Julia Trevelyan and Gwen Joel. The title of the study is Dizziness and Unsteadiness Following Whiplash Injury, Characteristic Features in Relationship with Cervical Joint Position Sense Air. What they found was that individuals with whiplash compared to normals had a higher propensity to have joint position sense air at the head and neck. Here's how they did that study. They had their patients affix a laser pointer to their head. They then sat a standardized distance from their target and created a standard deviation. The patient then performed three repetitions of looking over their shoulder with eyes open and coming back to the center of the target. Then they were asked to perform six repetitions of the same action with their eyes closed. If they performed three repetitions of the laser being outside of the standard deviation when they returned to what they thought was the center line position, they were considered positive for a cervical joint position sense error and treatment should commence at that time. Here's a video showing the treatment. Any laser placement outside of the blue circle would be considered outside the standard deviation and therefore present with an error. Let's try that again. A total of six trials are performed. Three or more trials outside the standard deviation is considered positive for a position sense error. Eyes open three times. And without the ring. As in 2015, published in Manual Therapy, there was a systematic review performed on joint position sense air in people with neck pain. What they found was differentiated joint position sense air in people with neck pain compared to healthy controls. This is relevant as we can combine the 2003 study by Trevelyan as well as the 2015 study systematic review on neck pain patients and provide assessment and treatment for these populations of whiplash and chronic neck pain with the motion guidance device.